The Prussia Mini is an awesome machine out of the box, but let's have some fun and do some upgrades. The Prussia Mini is a very cap capable machine out of the box. And uh, there is no really a need to make uh, upgrades to the machine to make it print better. Uh, but there are a few things that um, I wanted to um, make a better experience and uh, some things related to assembly and some out just for the fun of it. And the first one is this. This is a very small cable clip that I have designed. This is for the um, ribbon cable that goes uh, down from uh, the box here, from the screen. And uh, according to the instructions, you should be tucking that um, ribbon cable in the groove of the extrusion. But I found this a bit difficult and honestly, I also didn't want to damage my cable. So I've designed this and I printed three of them and yeah, probably two is more than enough, but that's very, very small parts. So they just uh, snap into place and they hold the ribbon cable on the extrusion bottom. The second one is that, again, on the screen, the screen doesn't come with uh, any cover on the back, so uh, the uh, circuit board is exposed. I don't think that's a big risk of uh, getting uh, shorts, but still, yeah, I kind of uh, thought that I needed to do something about it. I first uh, thought of designing a full cover, but that's probably not needed. So what I actually resorted to is that there is this small speaker on the back, which is exactly behind the, the push wheel here. So. This is what I did. It is a very small thumb rest. I call it thumb rest and it's just a very small piece. Uh, it just plugs into the speaker and grabs into the speaker with this uh, four um, ridges and that's, that's it. So you just uh, lay your thumb uh, on it while you do the work on the click wheel. My fourth one is about the fan. So I was moving the X axis um, cart uh, by myself and I was doing it on this uh, corner here and I realized that the fan blades are quite uh, exposed and it's very possible to touch them so that's why I designed this it's a very small fan grid so very simple it just uh, uh, hooks on the existing screw and the bolt here and there is a small uh, pin just to uh, fit on the second bolt and I will show you in a second how this is assembled the third one which is the one actually I had most fun designing uh, it is the flag, a flag for the extruder. So in this machine here, the layout of the um, of the X uh, of the Z cart is is uh, very well done. It's very compact, and you have everything on top of it. The problem is the extruder motor is on the back, so there is basically no way to see if it's spinning or not. It is uh, in in the in the Mark III. I have seen uh, a few mods that uh, just use a magnet on the on the shaft here but uh, I didn't really think it was uh, helping a lot with this one uh, with the motor on the back. So I realized that there is this uh, small hatch here on top to get access to the, uh, to the cogwheel and I, thought, I said, uh, why don't you use that? So that's why I came up with this. And this is just uh, taken from the GTUB uh, storage, so this is exactly the same door that is uh, on the machine with a couple of uh, gears here. So same modulus of the existing gear uh, on the um, on the extruder. So the small one is uh, uh, taking the motion from that gear and uh, moves it on the, the second one, which is actually to show it. You can also use it to turn it a bit. And if you turn it, it will actually move the extruder wheel. It's not something I recommend so much because this is still plastic uh, parts. So uh, they wear out um, uh, very easily. And uh, also the strength of the teeth is probably not very much. But in case you need to just check if uh, something is stuck, that's a possible uh, way out. The final, the final one is for the USB uh, plug. You know, I have this theory of about USB plugs. They have three ways of, uh, you know, three orientations. There's the wrong one, the wrong one, and the right one. So I never get it, not neither in the first nor the second shot. So that that's a bit annoying to me. So I have actually had a couple of these extension cables lying around. So I said, why not? snapping an extension cable here on the side. So I came up with this. It is a very simple attachment, so it helps, uh, you know, it's with uh, these two T-nuts. I have designed T-nuts myself. They uh, fit into the uh, extrusion slot. And there is a small uh, um, attachment here that actually just uh, keeps the plug of the USB in place. So you just uh, snap it on the side of the uh, vertical extrusion and you're good to go. 
So here is uh, the ribbon cable. According to the manual, you should be tucking this inside the extrusion here. But yeah, it doesn't quite fit. So this is where our small clips come into play. Very simple, you just snap them like this. I have printed three of them, but uh, yeah, one would probably do, two would be okay. Three is probably a bit of an overdoing, but uh, yeah, pretty simple to print, so not a big deal for me. And uh, there we go with the first one. Second, as uh, we were discussing, so here is the back side of the printer uh, card for the, for the screen. And uh, you see there's a few exposed contacts here. And this is the small uh, uh, bell uh, noisy thingy. So this is where we have our plug. So very simple. It's been designed to have these uh, four flexible wings. So you just put it there and there you go. You snap it into place. Now you have a backrest for clicking on the wheel with your thumb. Third, let's look at the fun cover. So if you check it out, the fun is actually held into place with only two screws, one on the top corner and one on the bottom corner. We're going to leave the bottom one alone because this is where the, uh, the pinda or minda or whatever is it called is sitting, so I don't want to mess with that. And uh, also the cables are quite uh, uh, close here and delicate, so we're going to pass behind those. So what you have to do is just loosen this screw a bit And then this here has this small button. This goes into one of the empty holes here on the top right corner. So you just slide it there. Just make sure you have untightened the screw enough. And then you press this small pin into the hole and you tighten it back. There's no need to tighten it very strongly. Just uh, remember next time you fire up the printer, make sure you check that the fan is spinning because I had to do a few iterations of the design here because the thickness and if it deforms a bit then it can touch on the center point uh, and uh, it can touch the fan uh, spinning wheel. So you need to make sure that uh, you're not stopping the fan from spinning. Next one is my favorite. It's the, I call it extruder flag. So you have to remove the existing door so you take your allen key i just grab a bit you know i just twist tilt a bit the, the allen key to drag on this on the um, on the screw to pull it out and then it just comes out you can take this away and you see here you have the wheel the cog wheel that is uh, actually showing and then you take your it's of course three parts you have assembled pre previously with the M3 screws, these two uh, cogs in place. And then you just put it in here. This is, uh, the door is actually taken from the original design, which is available from GTHUB from, uh, from Prusa. So uh, I just had to modify that. So I'm, I'm sure it just fits exactly in place. And then what I do, I tighten this quite Hardly, because I actually don't think you need to access that door so much. But um, you can have that if this, uh, if the extruder spins quite fast, it can uh, push a bit uh, the door upwards and, and stop it from uh, moving. So I can feel the pressure here. So if I try to move this, I feel that it is actually spinning the extruder gear. So here's my final one. I have this uh, cable here. I'm going to plug it in here for my last time. And then what I do is I just uh, put this, these two T-nuts inside the housing. I've designed this one to fit with my own uh, cable extension, which I assume is pretty standard, but in case you have a different one, it's not a very easy, it's not a very difficult design. Here you have your USB stick, which of course is in the wrong direction in the beginning. Yeah, and that, that is how you go about putting it in and out. I usually take a marker and I mark the top part so I know it's always in that direction. 
And we've come to the final uh, part of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had some fun in designing the upgrades and uh, thinking a bit about them and putting them into place. I found that useful. As, as I said, they're absolutely unnecessary. But still, you know, the one I like the most is this one uh, with the extrusion uh, um, wheel. So, yeah, Prusa, if you're listening, please introduce this as a standard feature or feature it in one of your videos. I hope you like what you see. If you like, please uh, hit the subscribe button. I have a goal to reach the 1000 subscribers, uh, possibly in a very short period of time. And if you want to stay updated, you ring the small bell next to it and you will get notifications when I publish new videos. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and until next time.